Okay, in lesson 10, we're going to practice uh, heat or temperature applied to a composite beam. Uh, let's say we have a beam uh, like this, made up of uh, two elements or two materials. Let's say we have steel and aluminum in here with a fixed end, and they're attached through this line and we apply a temperature of let's say or temperature difference of let's say 120 degrees um, Celsius I'm given a very high temperature just to exaggerate uh, the the deformation of this uh, uh, beam or composite beam well for steel we know that the material has these properties elasticity of 200 gigapascals Poisson's ratio of um, 0 0.303 and alpha which is thermal expansion coefficient of uh, 13.6 times 10 to the minus 6. For aluminum the elasticity is 69 gigapascals. Poisson's ratio of 0 0.334 and alpha of 22.2 uh, times 10 to the minus 6. Um, I hope I'm uh, correct with this. It's around 22, but... Um, so, what I'm going to do in this uh, an example is going to be a 2D analysis. So I'm going to use a solid material or solid element, um, a 2D solid, solid element. That I'm going to use. So we're going to only have one element, but uh, this this uh, study is going to have two materials defined in it, which is um, steel and aluminum. And when I generate this model, I need to remember to glue these two areas through this line to each other um, in the modeling section. And the way I uh, define which material is assigned to either of these two areas is uh, before meshing and uh, I have to go back to modeling and make sure that I'm uh, in the right element uh, selection. So this is uh, the explanation for lesson 10. Let's go to ANSYS and do the modeling and analysis. Okay, uh, we're in ANSYS. Um, Let's go to preferences and make sure we're doing structural analysis. Come to pr uh, preprocessor, go to elements and make sure I'm picking a quadratic eight node um, solid element. Click OK. Plane 183 is uh, defined or selected for me. Uh, let's uh, switch to plane strain, for example. OK. This element does not have any real constant, so I can jump into materials and to material models, structural, linear, elastic, um, 200, 200 gigapascals for elasticity and 303 for Poisson's ratio. And then come to thermal expansion, instantaneous coefficient, isothermal or uh, isotropic, 13 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, come to new, new model, pick the number 2, and do the same things. I want an isotropic uh, elasticity of uh, 69 gigapascals, and Poisson's ratio of 3 0.334, and instantaneous thermal expansion of 22.2 uh, times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, so my, mat my materials are defined. So I come to Modeling, Create Areas, Rectangle by Dimensions. I want to make two uh, areas, 10 millimeters, well let's make it 20 millimeters in length um, in the X direction and um, 2 millimeters uh, in Y direction. Apply. The first area is made for me. The second area I'm going to make exactly the same length and instead I have to go to 0 and minus 2 in y direction. 
So the two areas are made like this for me. And before I go to meshing, what I have to do is to come to operate under modeling, pick booleans, glue the two areas, and pick these two areas and click OK. So they are uh, glued to each other. Now I want to mesh these things, but first of all I want to make sure that which element, uh, it, which material is picked for the elements I'm going to have. So I come to element attributes, plane 83 is the only element that I picked. Material 1 was steel, I don't have any real constants and the coordinate system is the same so I click OK. Come to meshing, I want to use mesh tool for here. Go to smart size 3, mesh, pick the first or the top area, click OK, that is meshed. As you see, the second uh, area has uh, disappeared, so I just come to here, plot areas. Go back to modeling, element, element attributes, and close this window. And make sure that the material number two, which is aluminum, is selected. Click OK. Get back to meshing, me uh, mesh tool, same thing, mesh and area number two. So both my areas are meshed. Uh, appropriate materials are being assigned to each of them and they're glued in the line of uh, y equals zero. Now it's time to apply the uh, load. The first thing is to make sure that I'm doing um, static analysis which is picked here and then come to define loads, apply, structural, displacement on lines and I'm going to pick these two lines, click OK. All DOF is zero. OK. So it's fixed in this line. Then I come to temperature on areas, pick the two areas that I have and give a temperature of 102, 120 to be a little bit high and exaggerated. So my material is ready or my model is ready. So I come to solution, solve, current LS, OK, and the solution is done. So let's see how my composite beam is going to deform with these conditions. So you see it's expanding in um, the um, lengthwise control plot, nodal solution, um, displacement vector sum. So uh, the displacement is pretty small actually, um, but as you can see, zero displacement in here, and as we're going back uh, through the length of the composite beam, the displacement is increasing. Let's see x dis x component of displacement. Um, in x direction, the maximum is 0 0.08 millimeters, and also we can see the y direction. Again, so we have some uh, negative values in here. But then, as it goes forward, because it start, it's start, uh, it's expanding. The beam is trying to expand, so very little uh, minimum displacement in y direction is seen in this area. Let's go to plot vector plots and see the plot, uh, the vector of translation. So this is how my composite beam is, is uh, translating. Go to list results. Um, reaction solution and for all the nodes that I have in the fixed end of this beam I see um, these uh, forces in X and Y direction so even even though I have only uh, temperature and not physical loads applied to my composite beam I still have pretty high loads in X and Y directions as you can read in here. Well we can do more with this in terms of reading uh, the results. It's just uh, picking the nodes that we want. Let's say we wanted to find a path. So I'm gonna come here define path by nodes. I'm going to pick, or let's not do by nodes, let's come to by location. 
give path path zero one and divided by forty forty for the point one give zero and zero for the coordinates and for point two let's go to twenty and zero which is basically the line in the center which is the uh, line through which these two areas or, or these two materials are glued to each other. Let's uh, map onto path um, U sum UY and um, also UX. Let's only apply or map those uh, three plot path items on graph U sum. So this is the way my uh, uh, that line, the uh, line between the two materials is um, uh, deforming from 0 to 20 which is the length of the beam. Come to UY Again, this is pretty pretty much the same uh, profile. Now let's see what UX is. So you can basically see these things. I can also come to list results and um, path items for path 01 that I defined. I can say give me these. So 20 but my S is divided into uh, four, 40 segments so every half uh, millimeters the uh, results are read and given to me. So with this I'm concluding lesson 10.